Greetings, fellow game designers. My name is Lauren Norman, one of the principals of Oil & Rope Games. This is an informal sneak peek at the core functionality of our in-house rapid prototyping tool, codenamed Paperize. So I just wanted to show off some features of this thing, and I needed a project to do it with. I wanted to go end-to-end -end on something, and doing real prototypes can be messy. So I've actually selected the popular game Love Letter. Uh, Love Letter's good uh, for this purpose for a number of reasons. First of all, there are uh, only 16 cards total, and that's eight different types of cards. So there's not a whole lot to create. Um, second of all, there's only three pieces of information on each card. So you'll see it has a rank, a name, and a rule. So it's not doesn't take too long to actually track all these cards. Um, and I believe Love Letter can be built end-to-end -end using Project Paperize in minutes. So let's get down to it. Uh, the way we normally design our games is with spreadsheets. So I'm going to hop over here to Google Drive and I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Spreadsheets are good for uh, prototype for uh, capturing and iterating your game data. And if you're not using them already, you probably should be. Uh, but it's not as daunting as it may seem, uh, as you'll see right now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to make a name for this spreadsheet and I'm going to call it a uh, love letter revisited. I'm going to make some rows to account, f so, sorry, some column names to account for the information we saw in the in the cards. So there's the rank, the name, and I think we'll call it the rule. And those rules are going to get lengthy, so I'm going to just make a little bit of room there. So this is easy. So rank one, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, eight. And then the names of everyone. That was, uh, yes, guard was one, priest is two, and okay, we've got all our cards in the spreadsheet now. Let's actually, let's export this now as a CSV. So you go to download as, and then you head down here to CSV. CSV just means comma separated values, and that's a very common way of representing spreadsheet data uh, when you take it from one tool to another, which is what we're going to do right now. So let's actually hop over to the oil and rope page now, and I'm going to open Paperize. So Paperize is here. It's prompting me to start a new design. No problem, I will. And I'm going to call this Love Letter Revisited. And uh, we'll give a description of the Instant Classic. <clears throat> by Seiji Kanai. All right. Okay, so now we're inside of our game, our brand new prototype called Love Letter. And it's prompting me to add a deck to get started. So this is easy. A deck is just a CSV file, so I could click here to upload. But because we're using all web tools, this is kind of cool. You can just click and drag to the file uploader. And then you choose a template. We have two motifs right now, fantasy and sci-fi. I'm going to start with fantasy and go ahead and upload this file. Okay, here we are. And you're going to see now that, so we, it's chosen this template, which you may recognize is similar to a, another popular game. And this may or may not be what we want, so I'm actually going to change the color. I, I want these cards to be red. So just like that, we swapped, swapped the template color to red. And now you'll see the, the CSV columns are here, rank, name, and rule from what I uploaded. And it, when you mouse over, you see it hovers. It shows you some of, some examples of the data that you have in there. And if you actually want to know what I've parsed out of your CSV, you can click this button here. And you can see what, you, what, I, what I believe you've handed me, uh, as well as upload it. So that's a good way to troubleshoot whatever data you've given me. Okay, so I'm going to map the rank, that's the number for each one, into this spot down here in the bottom. So that's five. Uh, the name, I'm going to map right here in the top, and that looks like that's one. And then the rule, it's that long text, I'm going to put that here at four. So I do that. All right, I click save. And then I click this little PDF icon here, and voila, the card, the PDF data, the spreadsheet data has been laid out on the template uh, and turned into a PDF for me uh, very quickly as well. So that's the core coolness of Paperize there. 
let's show let's drop back over here and show you how quickly now it is to actually change that motif so let's let's go to motif and switch that over to sci-fi okay so you can see our sci-fi template is here now uh, I I quickly just need to remap the thing, so I'm going to put the, the uh, ooh, actually this sci-fi template's not the one I want. There are multiple layouts for sci-fi, as you can see here. Uh, I want this one, so I've got that rank and a nice uh, call out here in the top right of the card, so I'm going to click that. Oh, yeah, very nice. So I'm going to put the name here at one. There, oh, it's already there. The rank, three is where I definitely want that rank to be inside that beautiful medallion there. Then the rule should go at, is that a four? That is a four, it's already there, looks good. I'm gonna save it, and I'm going to export this to PDF. And just like that, I've changed the entire template. I've got my exact same game using a whole new professional looking template in a few moments. So again, this is, uh, this is some of the real powerful features here of, of kind of trusting us to handle your card layout for you. Okay, but now you're saying, you know, these cards look kind of you know, maybe they're, they're lacking some oomph. So I hear you there, and I think what they need is images. So what I'll do, show off the this next feature of Paperize, and I'm gonna hop over here and make an image column here in column D. And so basically what I did here is I went over to Flickr, and then I searched for dog dress up, and I found these, uh, these great dogs. So I think that's what I'm gonna use. So I've got my princess. I'm going to put her here, and then lastly, the guard. All right, so I've updated my spreadsheet with these images. Let's very quickly download as CSV once again. There we go, and then I'm going to hop back over here to Paperize, and I'm going to pull up that view of the, of the data again. And again, this is really easy, so I'm just going to click and drag my new CSV here, drop it in, upload the data. Gives me a prompt to make sure I know I'm overwriting stuff. That is fine with me. And it has been uploaded, and you see now CSV Columns has this extra column that says Image. Well, let's map that to, obviously, Image. Save it. And let's ask the server to put all that together for us. There are our beautiful dogs dressed up as all of these roles, and I've now made a canine love letter for what it's worth. So you might be thinking there's one thing missing, and that is the fact that this game doesn't actually have 8 cards, it has 16 cards. You would be correct. So I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet one last time, and I'm going to show off one more feature. Let's just insert a column here to the left, and you might have already guessed this column is going to be called Quantity. Quantity is a magic column that Paperize recognizes, and we will automatically generate the number of cards uh, required. So in Love Letter, the quantities are all two, except for the guard, which has five, and the king and the princess, which have one. So that was all there is to it. That's now done. I'm going to go ahead and export this one more time. Hop back over to Paperize. Pop open the CSV. Drag the new one in. Select OK. And then ideally, oh, yeah, so quantity is now here. I'll probably hide that in the future since it's been detected as a magic column. But I go ahead and I export to PDF. And lo and behold, there are five guards, two priests, two barons, two handmaidens, two princes, one king, two countesses, and one princess. So there you have it. That's, uh, that's the end of the demo as I have it. Uh, in closing, I just want to say I really hope that this was interesting to some of you. Uh, please fill out the feedback form below if you have any thoughts or concerns about any of this. Um, we hope to be able to start sending invites to people, to, to early adopters in March. So if that's potentially you, we definitely want to hear from you. Um, but overall, we just really want to make sure that we're hitting the mark and meeting uh, game designers' needs. We are using this tool internally, so we know it's uh, got some core usefulness, but whatever features you may think it needs to be just perfect for you. We would love to hear from you. So again, please fill out the feedback below. And thank you so much for your time.